How's it going, Racket Boy? This is SBK here to show you some of the Atari manuals and stuff I got. Um, to see if anyone wanted them for trades. Um, I did have someone message me, and the first thing I wanted to show was something he asked me about. He asked me which one this was for, the bat or the ball. Now, I looked over the whole thing, and I could not figure it out. There's actually the uh, card that uh, came with it, the business card. But this is, it says it has a instruction for both, so I couldn't actually find where it said which one it was supposed to be. So unfortunately, I don't have an answer for you on that one. Um, it looks like they did a generic one for it. So I'm going to go into some of the other ones. So I said I have two Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. Um, the biggest problem with this one is the threading is coming loose on that. And it has a little bit of writing on it. So not too bad, but this one a little bit rougher, not quite as clean. Threading's coming out too, but no writing on it. But it does have some like slight discoloration. <laughs> Star Wars the Jedi Arena, you know, this does have use, as you can see right there. Sword Quest for the Atari 2600. Slight discoloration from rust from the staples. But other than that, this one's actually in pretty good condition. Raiders of the Lost Ark. I have two of these. And here's the other one. So, I mean, like I said, they do have a little bit of wear. Some of them look better. Like this is a tennis one. This one is in pretty pretty sweet condition here's centipede which the th there's some discoloration right there up top you can see um, the cool thing about this is that I have this little comic book that came with it made by DC um, I guess it came with the original so that's pretty cool Dig Dug. Pac Man. So you can see some discoloration, some dirt. Like I said, I, I rescued these, so. We got Berserk, which I'm really happy about the condition this one's in. It's in rather good condition considering it being for the Atari. Space War, which has a lot of discoloration on the back. And it pretty much goes through the whole thing. It doesn't really keep it from being red, but it does have that discoloration. Obvious watermarks, but from what I can tell, all the pages open and everything, so... Star Raiders. Super Breakout. Jungle Hunt. Kangaroo. Atlantis. See some discoloration down there. A little discoloration on the side. All in all, pretty decent. Dragon Fire. Activision's Pitfall. Star Master instructions. I 
ice hockey. Which I never really noticed this before, but there's something. Ah. It's a little letter. Oh, it's your game warranty. From Activision. So keep in mind there's a Activision game warranty in the uh, ice hockey instructions. Star Trek for Sega. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Wizard of War. I really like uh, the way this one looks. Gorf. CBS video games. I wonder if that's the CBS, like the television station. Interesting. Venture for Coleco, or by Coleco. It has some disgust, some uh, disgusting crap on the back. I don't think I can get it off, so I think I'll leave it on there, and whoever gets it can try to remove it. This one is for Robot Tank. Warning: Official orders. Code name: Robot Tank. Much more elaborate. Burger time. Space attack. From Mattel. Blackjack. Canyon bomber. Video Olympics. Dodge'em. Pretty much if they have white on, they look slightly dirty. But there's slot racers. Target fun. Just got a bend right here. I can go ahead and put it back. So notice that it will have a crease on it. And it does have discoloration. That's for target fun. Pele's Championship Soccer. Warp Lock. Intergalactic Combat Manual Data Age. And if you need more lock in your life, Airlock Operations Manual. Maze. Notice the crease up there. So now we're going to get in past the manuals. We are now looking at little video game cartridge catalogs. This is for Activision. Winter Spring 1983. I think these are really neat. This one is is actually like a little booklet. So it's really cool. iMagic video game cartridges. Which are cool. This one's uh... Oops. This one is also like a little fold out. So, it's cool. This one's for the Mattel Network. And it's another uh, fold-out one. The Data Age Catalog. And theirs is also another fold-out one. S Snake. Sorry. And I have two of these, which are actual posters. 1983 Atari Game Catalog Atari Stars posters. I've got two of those. I have two of these Video Computer System Atari Catalog 49 game program cartridges. Two of those. And this one is a 45 game program cartridges. 
Then the Atari video system catalog. This one has 43 game cartridges. This one, a little bit more uh, detail to it. Looks cooler. Owner's manual for the Atari 2600 for the CX 2600. Pretty good shape, actually. I think Hobie One wanted this one. Hobie One's already messing with me, said he wanted a couple on this one, making them. The Atari 7800 Pro System owner's manual so that's it that's all of them um, so if you want some let me know I'm looking for some manuals for NES games for the most part I really don't care what manuals but um, so if you give it extra ones you know we can just do some trading just let me know alright later